Hello everybody, how's it going? We're talking about Father's Day fragrances because Father's Day is right around the corner and these are all such solid gifts. So the first one I'm going to recommend is a bottle I don't currently have in my collection, but it's called Aqua de Joe Profumo. Now I'll have all the names of the fragrances and discount site links in the description below so you don't have to pay full retail price and in case you want to support the channel, so I appreciate that. But Aqua de Joe Profumo is the ultimate dad fragrance all right it's fresh and clean it's very simple but it has an interesting note of incense in the base that just like i said it, it kind of piques your interest right but trust me the incense is not something that's super noticeable it doesn't smell like you're at church this is definitely more of a fresh clean aromatic fragrance very versatile you can wear it wherever he wants to whenever he wants to whether he wants to be dressed up dressed down if you have a dad that wants one thing for everything, get him that one. Like if he's using three-in-one shampoo and conditioner and body wash, then Aqua de Joe is going to be a great, Profumo specifically, is going to be a great fragrance for him. Because the first time I smelled that scent, it just reminded me of a dad that has lived life to the fullest. You know what I mean? He did like some crazy shit when he was younger, but now he's more matured and he's just super chill you know you know those dads that have a home office and they have like like a fireplace and like a leather couch in their office with like a cigar box and some dark liquor in there like that's the kind of dad i see wearing aqua de joe profumo and the bottle's pretty cool right the next one is a fragrance from ysl called lom and this is such a good fragrance it's ginger based. So yes, it's also fresh and clean. This one definitely sits a bit closer to the skin. It's not as loud as Profumo, but this is definitely a scent for, to be honest, like the creative dad, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Very humble, very creative. And this is just a scent that is completely inoffensive, but I promise you everybody that smells this loves it. I still believe that Lom is a masterpiece designer fragrance because in terms of fresh and clean scents, there's a lot of things out there now with masculine fragrances that have that ambroxin that smell like blue fragrances like Blue de Chanel and Sauvage, but this stands on its own. So in terms of other masculine scents in the standard designer lineup, this definitely still stands out to me and it's a lovely scent. And I promise you, your dad's partner, whoever he is or she is, whatever, they're gonna love everyone will love this fragrance on them just tell them to overspray it all right because this can be a bit weak but if you want something just for himself this is gonna be a really really nice scent so loam by ysl next is you know what the third one will be a ralph lauren this is called ultra blue and the kind of dad i see this fragrance on is like the ones that play the bougie sports, like polo, like golf, you know what I mean? The, the prep, not bougie, the preppy sort of sports, because this also, like the other two, is a fresh, clean fragrance, but there's something about it that screams old money to me. On top of that, I believe with my link, this is like a, a $60 fragrance or less for a full-size bottle of it, and the performance with this fragrance, I got around five to six hours with it, which, which is pretty decent for a freshie, it's, it's within the, the ballpark of, you know, fresh fragrances. But this one, it does smell good. And I remember the first time that I wore this, I was in a grocery store. And everybody, this is when everyone had to wear masks in the grocery stores. And this lady, because I was like zooming, right? She pulls down her mask and she's like, you smell so good, by the way. And I was like, oh, thank you, you know? So this one it is a big compliment getter. But like I said preppy dad that likes to play those sports like uh where he likes to wear polos stuff like that ultra blue definitely all right next is prada long edt now this is what i would suggest you give if your dad is kind of like like a businessman you know what i'm saying like a head honcho type of dad because this fragrance right here smells like luxurious fabric softener but it's definitely the type of scent that I see on a CEO or somebody that any type of business head honcho that has to go into the corporate office every quarter or something like that just to make sure everything's running. They're dressed really sharp. And when everybody, like everyone's excited to see him because, oh my God, he always smells so good. And this is a fragrance that he would rock. 
So this definitely is a pretty powerful scent. It projects. I also have gotten complimented on my scent trail when I tested this fragrance. And I love this. Like, and please don't worry about the iris. If you hear, if you're thinking, oh, iris is too floral. I don't want to get him something super feminine. I do find this to be pretty unisex, but trust me, if you're in business casual attire, like if that's your dad, if he's hustling, doing that sort of shit, Prada Lom is going to smell amazing on him. And like, this is going to close deals right here. Like this fragrance, just a man that knows business. This thing is, is really, really good. All right. Now for the fifth fragrance I'm going to recommend, it's going to be a bougier scent. All right. And it's from the House of Parfums de Marly. And this is called Percival. Now, if you don't know what Percival smells like, think of Fierce by Abercrombie & Fitch, all grown up. All right, this fragrance right here, to be honest, it kind of reminds me of like the frat guy to business, like to corporate business pipeline. You know what I mean? So if that's your dad, then let him wear this. This is more to me of like the fun dad, like an adventurous dad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like he, he gets shit done, but it's kind of like, oh, there's just something fun and still absolutely youthful about this fragrance. You know, the dads that are just, always down to still try new things. They're like, they're just like, they, they're the yes guys. They're like, you know what? Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. They don't worry about how embarrassing they might look doing these new things or whatever, or like the shit that people say. They just want to do it because life is all about the experiences. And to me, Percival is perfect for that type of dad. On top of that, the performance with this is definitely over seven hours, right? And it does project pretty nicely. And like I said, if you haven't smelled fierce, just kind of think of a very fresh aromatic sort of fragrance that has like definitely some citruses in it. Hold on one second. Yeah, it's, this is, it is a really nice scent. In fact, I'm gonna tell you right now that I will box this up and give this to my dad because the spray you saw me do, this is probably like only Maybe my fifth spray of this fragrance or something like that. But yeah, my dad would smell amazing with this. <sighs> Definitely. So just to recap, this one, Percival for the adventurous dad. I would say um, Ultra Blue by Ralph Lauren for the preppy dad that likes those kind of sports like golf and polo. Lom by YSL for like the artsy, creative, introverted dad. And... Prada Lom for business head honcho sort of dad and Aqua de Joe Profumo for just kind of like your all around dad that does everything but has just like it's just the experience kind of think of somebody like the godfather you know what I mean it's just chill but is still like a shark when he needs to be you know what I'm saying but anyways again all the names of the fragrances and discount site links are going to be in the description thanks for watching and I hope you have a great father's day with you and your family all right take care bye